11 o'clock or so, and we want to go ahead and get started. Uh, it's good to be in the house of the Lord on a beautiful Sunday morning, and it's uh, wonderful that we can finally have um, a, 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 a time of musical worship, and we haven't had a special guest singer uh, at our church since the beginning of the year, and that is uh, not like us, because we usually have guests throughout the year, but because of this virus, uh, we've not been able to do that, and so we're just so thankful that Brother Stan Schumann is with us this morning. We uh, just want to let you know, uh, we want you to be comfortable here th today, and so uh, while we are doing our best to follow all of the different guidelines that have been given, we want you to be comfortable uh, th this morning and just uh, just have a wonderful day of worshiping the Lord. Uh, just to let you know a little bit about uh, what we'll do today, Brother Stan is going to is going to start us off in just a moment, uh, and uh, he's going to sing a set for us, and then we're going to be able to have a time to give back to his ministry. I'm going to give a very, very short devotional, and then uh, Brother Stan's going to finish us uh, off. So it's going to be a day really uh, all filled with music that will glorify and edify the Lord. Uh, what we want to do right before our service uh, starts, we want to open up with a word of prayer, and then we're going to take up our morning tithes and offerings. And so this is just for the Rolling Hills uh, Baptist Church, uh, regular attenders and members who give uh, regularly, whether you give um, by check or you give by cash. We will do that at the beginning of our service after prayer. We also want to say good morning to all of our church family that's joining us online, and so we, we're glad that you are um, watching us this morning, and we hope that uh, you are blessed this morning by the ministry of Brother Stan Schumann. And so let's open up with a word of prayer. We'll take our morning offering, and then, uh, we will, um, uh, then we'll, we'll turn it over to Brother Stan. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to gather together. Uh, and worship you. Lord, we know that we should not take this for granted. There are many other places around our country uh, that they can't meet. And so, Lord, we take today a special privilege to not only worship you, but also to be blessed by the ministry of Brother Stan Schumann. And Lord, we pray that as he ministers to us uh, for the majority of our service, Lord, we pray that you would, um, you would bless him and you would give him the right songs and encouragement to lift up the body of Christ. Lord, for all in our congregation who are sick, who are hurting, uh, who have a special need, Lord, we pray that you would, you would heal, you would help recover, that you would answer all the needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And Lord, as we move into our time of offering, Lord, we pray that you would bless it. In Jesus' name, amen. As our ushers come forward, um, we, we're again... Just a reminder, this offering uh, is for our morning tithes and, off and offerings only. This does not go to Brother Schumann, and there will be another time uh, where, uh, where we will be giving to his ministry. So if you're giving towards that, that is not until a little bit later in our service. Right now, uh, this is just for your regular tithes and offerings. Brother Jim Christensen, would you, would you pray for our, our offerings?
again, thank you for your attendance today. We appreciate you coming. If you're, if this is your first time here, if you're a uh, visitor with us this morning, we do count it a privilege that you're with us. Please let us know if we can pray for you in any way, if there's something that we can minister for you. We're all friends. We're all family of God here, whether you go to another church or not. We, we're just glad that you're here to enjoy a wonderful day uh, of music. Uh, coming up uh, in the next few weeks, we do have some special guests lined up next Sunday morning. We have a guest preacher, Brother Cecil Hoskins. He'll be preaching for us in the morning service. And then in our Sunday evening service on the 9th, we have Brother Paul Mosley from Go Death Missions. Uh, he's going to be preaching for us and giving us an update. Uh, they minister all around the world to the deaf. That's one community that often is overlooked, and we're so glad Brother Paul will be here with us. Uh, we do have a food distribution on, fr on, on Friday coming up at 11 o'clock. And so um, we give out food to our community. Well, number one, we, we need volunteers. If you want to volunteer, please help us on Friday to give away food to the community. And then um, also, if, uh, if you need it and you know somebody who does, please come back on, uh, on Friday at 11 o'clock. Always be watching our Facebook and our website, rhbcjacks.com. And you can find us on Facebook at the same rhbcjacks. We're so happy this morning to have Brother Stan Schumann with us. It's been quite a while since he's been here, probably over a year and a half, maybe. Um, and so uh, time really does fly. And this is only, since all this virus outbreak, his second week back to sing anywhere. And that's very rare for Brother Stan Schumann. Most of you in here know him. He's been with many gospel groups and written for, um, for many great, well-known gospel groups, a talented singer and a songwriter. He's a friend of Rolling Hills. Would you make him welcome this morning, Brother Stan Schumann? I'm saved 
Aren't you glad this morning that he washed us with his precious blood? Washed us whiter than snow. I'm glad of that. Soon I'll come to the end of my And I'll meet the one who gave his life for me. I will thank him for the love that he gave me. And ten thousand years are born. Be started in thousand years. We'll just be gone. The battle is over and the victory. And we've just begun We will just begin to sing Love's sweet story It's a song that the angels cannot sing
10,000 years, and we've only just begun. And when that 10,000 years is up, guess what? There's going to be another 10,000 years. And that old excited Baptist this morning, right? Amen. Well, I hear an amen over in this corner. How about on this side? There you go. There you go. All right. Well, uh, we are so glad to be with you today, and we hope the songs will be a blessing to you uh, this morning, and you'll receive a blessing. And that's what gospel music's all about. Music with the message of Jesus Christ, what he can do, how he can change our life, how he can heal, because you know what? He is all of those. He's a savior, he's a healer, and he's a provider, and I'm glad of that this morning. And people ask me a lot of times, I say, well, how do you get started every day? How do you, uh, when you wake up, how do you get your day started? Well, it's easy. When I get on my feet on the floor in the mornings, I say, Lord, thank you for giving me another day. Thank you for your many blessings that you have given to me. And it's a day of thanksgiving. Every day is thanksgiving with me because I, I have so many blessings to thank you for. And this song says, I start my day with a prayer of thanksgiving. All right? I start my day with a prayer of thanksgiving. Start my day with a prayer filled with praise. Let me tell you I have learned the joy of living. It's based upon the way I start my day. People ask me, they say, why are you so happy? Some have even asked what kind of pill I take. Well, let me tell you that I'm high on life with Jesus And it's based upon the way I start my day I start my day with a prayer of thanksgiving Start my day with a prayer filled with praise Let me tell you I have learned the joy of living It's based upon the way I start my day You may wonder why you always feel defeated, why the good times seem to never roll your way. I'm not saying that your life will be perfect, but I'm saying good things happen when we pray. There are those who only ask the Lord for mercy. There are those who pray for miracles each day. Well, one day I came up begging for forgiveness. Now thank you. For the good things when I pray I start my day with a prayer of thanksgiving Start my day with a prayer filled with praise Let me tell you I have learned the joy of living It's based upon the way I start my day Oh, I start my day with a prayer a thanksgiving Start my day with a prayer Filled with praise Let me tell you I have learned The joy of living It's based upon the way I start my day Let me tell you I have learned The joy of living And it's based upon the way I start my day In the book of life of my sins are washed away. Saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, 
but I'm saved by the grace. I was alone in the darkness, I could not find my way. Then Jesus shined his light of love, he turned my night into day. Now I'm saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. My name is in the book of life and my sins are washed away. Saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. When I reach that city, the gates be open wide. On a sing redemption story How he brought me from the other side When I reach that city The gates swing open wide I'm gonna sing redemption story How he brought me from the other side Now I'm saved by grace I've been saved by grace My name is in the book Life and my sins are washed away. Saved by grace, I've been saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. Saved by grace, you've been saved by grace. Your name is in the book of life and your sins. Washed away, saved by grace. We've been saved by grace. It's not what we deserve, but we're saved by grace. It's not what I deserve, but I'm saved by grace. No, 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 it's not what we deserve, but we're saved by grace. the Lord. I love that old hymn of the church. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. And I'm glad for that amazing grace this morning, aren't you? Praise the Lord. Well, here's a song that uh, I recorded on my latest CD, and I hope you'll enjoy this song because I love to sing songs about Calvary, about the blood of Christ. Friend, don't worry about this heavy load I carry. Don't be concerned if it brings me to my knees. For I know a place where all my load will lighten. I'll be all right. Soon as I touch Calvary, if my feeble hands of faith could only reach out to this dark and dreary storm of unbelief, if he slips his nails. To my hand, I'll be all right as soon as I touch Calvary. Very soon now, I'll read. That was fashioned from the tree And if one drop of his blood touches me You know what? I'll be alright Because now I've reached 
Branch Calvary If my feeble hands of faith could only reach out to this dark and dreary storm of unbelief If he slips his nail-scarred hands Yes, I am all right because now I touch Amen. You know, I'm glad today that in the day and the hour that we're living in, with all the turmoil and everything that's going on in our country, I'm so thankful that there's one that we can rely on through any storm, any situation that we face in our life, and his name is Jesus Christ. You know, he gives us the strength, and I, I've often said this, I don't know what people do in a world as crazy as our world is today. I don't know what they do, Brother Stephen, without Christ. I don't see how they make it. I just don't. They have, I'm glad we can call on him 24-7. And uh, he, he is our strength. He's our source of strength in a time of trouble. And we just have to put our care. The Bible says, cast all your cares upon him because he careth for you. And I just, that's a promise in his word. And I, I lean on that scripture because I have to cast my cares upon him this morning. And I want to do this song for you, and I'm glad that we can put our strength <laughs> Spirit. 
Aren't you glad for a friend like Jesus Christ this morning? And I'm so thankful for his friendship. We serve a God this morning that's a great God. He's an awesome God. And the Bible says he changeth not. And I love to sing some of the old hymns of the church. I grew up in church all my life. I'm a preacher's son. And uh, I was in church from the time I was born. A lot of time I didn't want to go to church, but you had to be on your deathbed if you didn't go to church. So Daddy said, you're going to church, and I'm glad he, he didn't just say you're going. He took us to church. He and Mom, they took us to church, and we were there every service. And a lot of times I want to be doing things with my friends. I didn't want to have to go to church, but I'm glad today that I went to church. And I grew up singing some of the old hymns of the church, and uh, I, uh, a lot of churches don't do the old hymns anymore, and it's sad that they have gotten away from uh, some of these old songs. But as long as I sing gospel music, I want to do some of the old songs. And I remember there are so many of my favorite hymns, it's hard to just sit down and pick a favorite one. But uh, I tried to pick a couple of them. And I recorded it, and I want to do this one here because this is a song that has always been one of my favorite songs. And uh, we serve a God that's great today. It may be one of your favorite hymns. If it is, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's called How Great Thou Art. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout this universe. Display, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul. Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art when Christ shall come with a shout of acclamation He'll take me home, what joy shall fill my heart, then I shall bow in humble adoration. Sings my 
ask you a question. How many of y'all got the want to this morning? Raise your hand. That sure ain't many. How many's got the want to to serve Jesus Christ with all your heart? There you go. Well, I'm glad I've got the want to this morning, and there's nothing that's going to stop me from having that want to to serve the Lord. Amen? Hope you enjoy this song right here. you got to have a want to if you're going to make it through. You gotta have a want to, you gotta have a go through, you have to hold the faith with everything that's in you, you can't just turn around, cause you get the feeling down, if you're gonna make it through, you gotta have a want to, when the going gets rough, you gotta get up and keep going, you can't lose your hope when you don't know what to do When you can't understand You gotta just keep believing And most of all You gotta have a want to You gotta have a want to You gotta have a go through You have to hold the faith With everything that's in you You can't just turn around Cause you get the feeling down If you're gonna make it through You gotta have a want to As a man thinketh in his heart So shall he be Sin can't find the soul of a man That's been set free Wise old man said to thine own self Be true What he really meant You gotta have a want to you gotta have a want to, you gotta have a go through, and you have to hold the faith with everything that's in you. You can't just turn around, cause you get the feeling down, if you're gonna make it through. You gotta have a want to, you gotta have a want to, you gotta have a go through, you have to hold the faith. Everything that's in you You can't just turn around All to get the feeling down If you're gonna make it through You gotta have a want to You can't just turn around All to get the feeling down If you're gonna make it through You gotta have a want to Amen. Well, it's so good this morning to be with Brother Stephen, and been looking forward to being back with you folks. And he mentioned uh, this is only my second time to sing since uh, December, and uh, it's been pretty tough. I'll have to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's it's been pretty rough, um, and it's been like that for all the gospel singers that travel and evangelists that travel. And uh, but I'm glad that. Uh, there are churches that are opening their doors that uh, are having service. I know there's still a lot of churches that's not having service at all, just online, and that's it. But I'm glad that there's some that still open their doors and um, that we can come and be a part of that. And I appreciate Brother Stephen for letting us come and be with him this morning. And uh, it's good to have a lot of friends here today. I look out over the audience and I see a lot of uh, dear friends of mine that have been 
just great people to me through my life, through the years. Um, and uh, I appreciate that so very much. Uh, Weston and Karen Miller have been friends of mine a long time. Of course, very talented folks, great singers, great musicians. Uh, Ricky Pope's here this morning. Ricky's a great musician, been a good friend of mine a long time. And uh, my best friend, since we were five years old, is here with me this morning. And uh, we grew up together. We used to play cowboys and Indians. But we were just little bitty kids at my dad's church. And uh, we've been friends. We've traveled together in groups. We've, Terry is a great, great musician, a great piano player. He played for gospel music all his life. He was with the Hensons. How many ever heard the Hensons? Well, he was with them and played the piano for them. And then also evangelist Jimmy Swaggart. He played for Jimmy Swaggart. Uh, for the Swaggart Ministries, and uh, uh, he played for the Blackwood Brothers out in Branson, Missouri. He was with the Blackwoods out there and worked out there. And then he moved to Nashville, and uh, he worked several places as music director at churches and, uh, um, and then did some solo work, and then he had a studio, and he did a lot of tracks for people. He would do a lot of recording tracks for artists and gospel music, and and did recording sessions at his studio. Well, he moved to Florida here just a few weeks ago, so he's a Floridian right now, I guess. You consider him a Floridian. He left Tennessee, and I asked him a while ago, I said, Terry, how you like in Florida? He said, well, if I can just get used to this heat, that's the only thing that's bothering me, so he's got to get used to it, but that, that's part of it, Terry. I mean, that's just the way it is here in the sunshine. That's what we call the sunshine state, because we have a lot of sunshine, and it does get hot in Florida, okay? But I'm glad to have my best friend, Terry Weeks, here this morning. And Terry, hold your hand up where they can see you. And uh, glad to have him this morning. And then I look over here to my right, and I see a lady that uh, got to talk with her a little bit this morning. And uh, these folks have been very special to me uh, down through the years. Um, Miss Hargrove, Miss Iris Hargrove. I sang for her husband, who's in heaven today, and her son, who's in heaven today. Um, I sang for them many times over the years. I, I'm trying to remember the first church I ever sang for Brother Ronnie at. I can't even remember the name of it, Miss, Miss Iris. But uh, <clears throat> and then after he left that church, I went to another church and sang for him. And I do remember this about that second church that he went to the, or that I sang for him at. I remember it was, it was full of termites, right? It had a lot of termites at that church. And, uh, but uh, they finally got out of that building. And, of course, Brother Ronnie was uh, just a great, great man. I sung for him many times and sang at his funeral. And uh, he's in heaven today and along with Robbie. And uh, Robbie was my buddy. I'd call him a lot of times, and I may have a date available or something open. And I'd call him, and I'd say, Ronnie, this is Brother Stan. Or I'd say, this is Stan. He'd say, hey, Brother Stan. And uh, how you doing? I said, I'm doing fine. I said, I just wanted to check with you. I said, uh, see if we could work out maybe a Friday night or a Saturday night to come sing for you. And uh, he always tried to work it out. He always did. We might not have had the biggest crowd, but we had a good time when we went. But they're at home today. They're not suffering. They're not having to go through this COVID-19. They're not in any pain. And we've lost so many people uh, recently uh, that have passed away. And uh, I know this morning, Brother Stephen and I was talking, I just read this morning where uh, some of y'all may knew uh, Ernie Dawson and Airline, the group Airline. Brother Ernie Dawson passed away this morning, had a major stroke. And then his wife also said she thinks possibly some heart attacks. And as well, he had COVID-19 but they said they did clarify that he did not pass away from COVID-19. But uh, he's in a better place today. He's home at last. He's not hurting anymore. And he had a lot of health issues over the years. But Brother Ernie was a great, great guy, a good friend, and good for gospel music. And so I just want to do this song this morning. And Miss uh, Iris, I'm just going to dedicate this to song to you because, you know, I could be next, or you could be. I don't know. 
But I want to make every day count that I wake up. I want every day to count because we'll never know when it may be the last goodbye or the last time we see someone. So I hope you'll enjoy this song. It's called Home at Last. That's going home And one by one They're crossing over To a place Oh, they dreamed of for so long Home at last Safe inside God's city Home at last There's no more sad Words alone cannot express the joys that are waiting. Their home at last, so rejoice, wipe the teardrops from your You know, I've asked some of my old friends if they'd save me a seat, because I'm going to be there, Brother Steve. You know it won't be long. I'll be headed up that way. Oh. Sad 
they spread joys that are waiting. They're home at last, so rejoice by the teardrops from your eyes. They're home at last, so rejoice. Wipe the teardrops from your Did you enjoy Brother Stan Schumann so far? Amen. He's going to come back for us in just a few moments, and he's going to, uh, he's going to finish up today's service. Uh, right now, uh, I want you to have an opportunity to give back to his ministry if, uh, if you so can. I know that uh, during, during this time that it's been very, very difficult for a lot of our friends in gospel music, a lot of our friends who uh, have sung at our church many, many times to, to, to go to churches and to sing. And I think right now, more than ever, the churches need encouragement, and sometimes that encouragement comes through a means like gospel music. I know maybe Brother Stan uh, today sang a song or a pep talk or... Uh, or you go in one-on-one with somebody and talking, that song may have encouraged you. And so we need, uh, we need our gospel music, uh, our friends and family, that, to, we need to pray for them to, that the Lord would open doors for them to continue to encourage the church and, and, and also evangelize. And so Brother Stan has come from a long way to, to sing here and in Jacksonville, and I believe this evening you're in Palat- are you in Palatka tonight? Uh, he's going to Palatka tonight, and so um, we're privileged to have him this morning. And I know many of you uh, love his ministry and support his ministry, and you know how difficult it has been uh, for these gospel music artists like Brother Stan to continue their, their ministry. And so if you would, do your best to bless him this morning as our ushers come forward. Uh, if you have a check, you can make it out to brother. You can make it out to Stan Schumann. Everything that's give, given during this offering is going to go directly to the ministry of Stan Schumann. If you're watching online, we have options to give digitally. You can give through our app, Tithely, and you can just look up a Love Offering Special Guest. If you're going to give digitally, you can give from our website rhbcjacks.com, and then you can find the Give button. And so if you're watching online, and then you can um, select uh, Love Offering Special Guest. And um, this, all of those funds will go to Brother Stan this morning. And if there is a way for you to confirm with us that you gave online, we're going to be watching. That's why we have a little time to make sure that we see all the giving going in, if there's anything electronic. But uh, we appreciate it. It's easier with cash or check, but we appreciate if you can give online or digitally uh, if, if you can. Thank you so much for your generous giving, um, and we'll ask Brother Moore to pray for us with this offering. First is only, Father, we come at this time, Lord, ask a special blessing. Lord, we stand up. Just ask a special blessing for this ministry, Lord. We ask that you bless this offering, bless the hands of giving, and may continue to be a blessing to those who are here.
Sister Melissa for that. I said this morning that I was going to give a brief devotional while Brother Stan is uh, is resting, and that he's going to come and finish it up. And, I, and this is going to be brief, so you have to catch your breath real real quickly. And here's the thing: we've and I want to speak to our Christians here this morning. And maybe if you're not a if you're not a Christian today, I want you to think about this in our Sunday morning services. We have been talking the return of Jesus Christ. Looking at his own words, in our Christian culture today, it seems we spend a lot looking at everyone else's words about the return of Jesus and kind of forget that he spoke about his own return in Matthew chapter 24 and 25. And sometimes we neglect to what uh, he, he says. Jesus was very, very clear to his disciples, that he was coming back. And it's something that as a Christian community, we need to remember that Jesus Christ is going to come back. The only thing that Jesus said, one of the things that he said about his return, his return would not be publicized in a newspaper. It's not going to be found uh, on a billboard outside of, of some city. Jesus is not going to post his return date on Facebook. He's not going to tweet it. He's not going to put it on Instagram. He's not going to call your cell phone like the city of Jacksonville does and say, hey, I'm, I'm coming back on this date. But instead, he has told his followers to keep looking, keep watching, and waiting. We've been walking through Matthew chapter 24 and 25, and you find as you walk through those passages that in the, towards the end of Matthew 24, Jesus starts to teach his disciples about his return using parables and very vivid illustrations. Last week, we did our final principle. If you're, if you're interested in that, you can look on our website to see those sermons. But let me give you quickly a point about what Christ is calling us to. Christians need to stay awake for his coming. Christians need to stay awake. And so that's my encouragement to you today. Stay awake because Jesus Christ is coming. If you watch the news, you'll notice that the news and you'll notice that society is using a term that you may have heard and it's called being woke. How many have heard that one? We're being woke and the whole idea of that is if you are looking at the, being aware of the issues that are happening of our, of our day if you put that in the vernacular of what Jesus says, he says you need to stay woke to something that I am returning. If you look in Matthew 24, and you can read verses 42 through 44 on your own time. Like I said, I'm just giving a brief devotional. He uses a word in verse 42 that says to be awake. Watch, stay awake, for you do not know the day that Jesus Christ is coming back. In verse 44, he says, you do not know the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Why did Jesus tell us that? Why do you need to be reminded and encouraged of that as a follower, as a disciple of Christ this morning? A few, just a, a few weeks, we can say like that, later in Jesus' ministry, he tells his disciples something else that they need to watch right before he is arrested. He says, you need to watch and pray as he goes in the Garden of Gethsemane. Here's the thing. The Christian life is a life of watching. Sometimes you must watch and pray, but sometimes you must watch for the coming of the Son of Man. And Jesus closes this, and I'll close this with, with an illustration that Jesus gives. He says that we spend a lot of time protecting our houses, right? You probably spend a lot of money. Maybe you spend a monthly bill of a security system. Maybe you get big dogs or you put special locks on your door because you care about protecting your house. Jesus gives the illustration. 
that if the person knew, the master of the house knew what time the thief would come, he would be alert and he would stay awake all night and he'd be ready to take that thief out. So in the same way, if we care about the coming of Christ, we will watch, we will wait, we will look around at the signs of the times. Jesus said, watch, and he's saying this to his disciples today because often we neglect, we neglect to watch and pray and watch and look around. Here's my question to you this morning. Are you watching? Are you prepared? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Jesus says, watch and wait. We're going to continue our worship service. Brother Stan is going to close us out, whatever the Lord leads him to do as we get ready to close our service. Would you welcome one more time, Brother Stan Schumann. Thank you, Brother Stephen. I want to say thank you this morning for your gift to the ministry, and I appreciate it so very much. And I trust God blesses you for giving. I know that he does, and uh, you just don't outgive God. And he'll make it up somehow. He'll make it some way. He'll, make it, he'll give it back some way. I had a thing that happened real quick, like, and I'll make this short. I had a very dear friend of mine, pastor friend of mine in South Carolina. He's been a great, great friend. He's retired now from pastoring, but he's just been a great, great friend. He's one of these preachers that will call you from time to time. Just, I just want to call and check on you. And he never hangs up the phone unless he prays with me and prays for my family. And you don't know what that's meant down through the years. I mean, this has been, and I've always tried to let him know how much I appreciate that. And even after being retired for several years, he still calls me. And uh, the other day he called to check on me. Wanted to make sure I was okay. And I told him, you know, that uh, it's been pretty tough, you know, not being able to travel. He said, well, I knew you. I know how it is, and I've been praying for you. I pray for you every morning. And I said, I appreciate that. I went to my mailbox just a couple days after I talked with him. And uh, there was a check there from this man, he and his wife. And he wrote a real nice note. He said, Brother Stan, I just wanted to let you know I'm praying for you. We love you, and we just want to support your ministry. That was a total unexpected blessing that I was not expecting. And uh, I just, I really, when I went walked back out to my vehicle, I just, I just was crying. I said, Lord, thank you. Because this was a total unexpected blessing that I really needed. And uh, I called him to thank him, and he said, you don't, you don't owe me no thanks. He said, I love you that much, and I believe in what you're doing. And uh, so, you know, it's just people like that, that that mean so much to us. And as I mentioned, I've got so many good friends here this morning. I know time's getting away from us, but uh, how many of y'all really like, now, I, I know y'all love gospel music, but how many of y'all really like good piano playing? I mean, like good piano playing. Well, we got some good piano players here this morning. Now, this is, I guess, I don't know if this has ever been, it has been a first for me. I've never done this, and I may put them on the spot, but I want Winston and I want Terry to come to the piano, and I want them to do a duet together on the piano. Y'all think y'all can handle that? <laughs> You know, it's very rare that you get, sometimes you get one good piano player in the audience, but to have two of them in here in the audience this morning. Oh, three, I, well, I forgot, Ricky, I'm sorry. We got three good piano players here in the audience. Uh, who? Oh, and Steven, my, four. Oh, my, that's right, that's right. But uh, y'all come on up here. Come on, come on, Terry. Come on, Winston. Ricky, if you if there's another enough room on that on that seat, you might you can come up here too. I don't know if there'll be enough room for all three of you. All right. All right. Well, I, this is gonna be impromptu and whatever y'all want to do. Y'all just y'all 
Y'all talk about it. All right. Hey, Terry. I'm going to get him the same one. Terry Silver. Huh? You didn't even get the comfort tonight? Oh, I forgot that. I could keep a job. No, hey, hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, anybody ever go to Pigeon Forge to a country night theater? Any of y'all ever go there? Yeah. Did you? Well, y'all may have saw this guy there. He played for two years. He was their pianist with the country night theater as well at Pigeon Forge. So, uh, uh, God delivered him, he said. I mean, he really can't keep a job. I mean, it's, it, no, I'm kidding. But this guy, he's, uh, uh, like I said, we, we have been best friends for, well, I've known Winston for 40-something years, fit, almost 50 years, and then me and Terry have been best friends since we were five years old. So, and yeah, well, he just, he's got me by just a couple months. He just had a birthday last week. No, this week. Yeah, he just had a birthday this week. So, uh, Terry, will you sing one? Can you do one? Huh? I'm out of commission. Out of commission. All right. Yeah, <laughs> well, y'all did good. I love it. I love it. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to do two more songs. I know time's getting away from us. And uh, uh, if I can find this song, Miss Hargrove asked me to do this song. This is her favorite song. And she says, Dan, are you still doing this song? Uh, and I said, no, I haven't done this song in a pretty good, well, the only time I ever sing is when I see her. But I wrote this song, and uh, but I, I, I don't ever do it very often. But uh, this is her favorite song, and uh, so I'll, I'll try to do it for her this morning. If I can remember the words. See, that, I told my wife the other day, you know, we're not singing since December. I didn't know if I'd even remember the words to the songs. But uh, thank God he, he blessed me to keep my memory for that. So I'm glad of that. But I'm going to do this song here. Uh, if you're part of the family of God this morning, uh, we're blood kin. We may not be kin physically, but we're part of that family of God and we're blood kin. And so I hope you enjoy this song. Miss Hargrove, if I mess up, it's your fault, okay? Oh, 
child of the King, me and Jesus just became the dear. It was not long ago at an altar prayer. I fell on my knees and I met my Jesus there. He's been closer than a brother, been my dearest friend. And ever since that blood transfusion, we became blood kings. Well, me and Jesus just became blood kin. Oh, what a family to be born in. I'm an heir to a man. I'm a child of a king. Me and Jesus just became blood kids. This relationship was started 2,000 years ago. The blood that saved that wooden cross now in my veins has flow. It paid for me the ransom, covered all my sin. My family tree is Calvary since I became blood king. Well, me and Jesus just became blood king. Oh, what a family to be born in. I'm an heir to a mansion. I'm a child of Well, I've had a great, great time this morning, and I know time's getting away from us, Lord have mercy, but those of you that have uh, watched by uh, the live stream this morning, you know what, as Brother Stephen mentioned a while ago, if you don't know Christ today, uh, you don't have to be in this auditorium to get saved. You can accept him right where you are. The Bible says he, to come just as you are, and as he mentioned, we are, we are living in the last days. We've heard it all of our life. I have heard this, and I've heard it all my life, that Jesus is coming again. But I'm going to tell you something. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure out that signs are pointing every day that we wake up. There are signs that are pointing to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And who knows, today could be that day. And I don't know about you, but it wouldn't bother me. I, I, I'd love for him to say, come on home. Come on home. Wouldn't have to worry about anything. But one day, it's going to happen. Or one night, it's going to happen. And the main thing is to know that you know that you know that you're ready to go when the trump of God sounds. And friend, if you don't know that this morning, if you're sitting in this building this morning, you walked in here, and you're unsure of your salvation, and you don't know that if Jesus was to come today that you're ready to go, you don't have to leave unsure today. You can know beyond a shadow of a doubt. As I sing this last song, I'm just going to say this altar is open. And Brother Stephen is here to pray with you. Whatever need you have, if it's for salvation or maybe you're going through something in your life and you just need prayer this morning, those of you that are watching live stream, you know what? Just bow your heads. If you're unsaved, and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Would you save me? Would you forgive me of my sins? And you know what? He's that kind of God. He'll do it. No matter what you've done, he'll do it just for you because you're special. You're, he cares for you today. And I want to do this song for you. I've, I've sung this song since the year it was written in 1986. And I think right now, as old as this song is, it's more prevalent than it's ever been before. Because we're living in the midnight hour. 
we're living in that midnight hour. One day you're going to see the church is completely packed, but it may be too late. When Jesus comes back, it may be too late. <clears throat> I trust everybody's ready to go with him today, and I appreciate the opportunity. And if you don't know him today, this altar's open. I don't want anybody to be left behind. Brother Stephen don't want anybody to be left behind. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing wind And it's closer now We've been told it's ever been I can almost hear the trumpet Gabriel sounds the call, he sounds the call at the midnight cry. We'll be going home when Jesus steps out on a cloud to call his children. All the dead in Christ will rise to meet him in the air. Then those that remain will be quickly changed at the midnight. When Jesus comes again When I look around me I see prophecies fulfilling Every day, church I see the sign of the times they're appearing everywhere but I can almost hear the father as he says son go get my children at the midnight cry the bride of Christ, we're going to ride. When Jesus steps out on a cloud to call his children, the dead in Christ will rise. The midnight cry when Jesus comes again, and then those that remain will be quickly changed. Oh. comes again Oh at the midnight cry when Jesus comes again when Jesus comes again
Praise the Lord. When Jesus comes again, I'm looking forward to that today. Really, really am. Let me say again, thank you for having us. I appreciate the opportunity. We just ask you to pray for our ministry and that God will continue to open doors for us as we travel and uh, that as these doors be begin to open up slowly, but, uh, but we appreciate that, okay? Y'all can just pray for me. If you don't pray for nobody else, just call my name in prayer, okay? I could use it. I really could. I do want to tell you this morning about our music we have available. Uh, and if you can take some music home, it would be deeply appreciated today. And I've got a lot of music back there. I've got three CDs. So I've got a lot of songs. One of them has 20 songs. One's got 22 songs. And then my latest CD's got 13 songs. So that's a lot of music on those three uh, on my solo projects. And then for eight years, I had a group called Midnight Cry. We uh, had a trio. And uh, the gentleman that... Uh, wrote that song, uh, was a part of our ministry six years. And he and I formed that group and put it together, and then we continued on after Greg left. And so we disbanded in December of 2019. But during our eight years we were together, we did five CDs as a group of Midnight Cry. This was our latest one called The Meeting, the last one we did. And uh, so it has a lot of songs that we have written on there that the other guys wrote on there as well. A live CD. It's a double live CD. It has the song Midnight Cry. It has the, the testimony from Greg, how he wrote that song, he and his brother. So that's a double live CD. And then uh, we have one called Reasons and then one called Feeling Fine. And then this one is called Vintage Gospel. It has some of the old gospel songs on it. If you like some of the older songs, that's got some of those old ones on there. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do this morning. The CDs are $15 a piece if you buy one. But uh, uh, I'm going to do this today because this will help our ministry. If you can, it will be deeply appreciated. But uh, this is $80 worth of music uh, if you bought it individually, uh, or more than that, actually. Uh, eight CDs would be actually uh, $120 worth of music. But uh, you can get all, all this music, every bit of it, as a package to help our ministry today if you'd like to for a gift of $50. And, uh, of course, uh, Midnight Cry is not singing, so you get to hear a lot of songs that the group did over the course of those eight years. Uh, $50 for all eight CDs, uh, or if you just want to buy one or two, that's up to you also. And then I have a few T-shirts back there. Uh, I love this shirt, what it says. Love the message, and I'm not ashamed uh, to stand for the flag. I'm not going to take a knee. I'm not going to kneel. I'm going to stand for the flag of the United States of America. And this shirt says, I stand for the flag. I kneel for the cross, and uh, these are $20. I uh, have them in medium, large, extra large, and 2X, okay? So these are some great witnessing T-shirts, and uh, so if you can come by and see us, we take cash or check, and if you make a check, make it to Stan Schumann. But thank you again, and God bless you. Brother Stephen, God bless you. Thank you, buddy. Love you. Tell Brother Stan one more time how much you appreciated his ministry to us this morning. Good to see you. Brother Stan will be at in our lobby, and so that's where his product table is at as, as you exit that way. If you need to uh, exit through the, um, through the stairs, not through the stairs, but there is a doorway here that will allow you to exit out, and so if you want to do that. Uh, we do have some... He does take cards, right? Brother Stan, you do take cards, right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, we might can work that out. <laughs> so, um, uh, so if you want to exit, you can exit that way as well. Uh, do we have anything to give away? Do we have bread or anything? Okay, there is some, a little bit. Okay, all right. Uh, again, if you don't have a home church, we'd love for you to come back to uh, visit us uh, on uh, whenever you can. Tonight, we do have a Sunday evening service, and so that'll be live here in the sanctuary. And so if you want to be part of our, our Sunday evening service, please join us at 6 o'clock. We do stream that as well online if, if you, you can't come back, but we'd love to have you here 
uh, once again. And let's all stand and let's be dismissed in a word of prayer. It's been a wonderful day in the house of the Lord. Hope you're encouraged and edified as Brother Stan did say. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, it's not about coming to an altar. It's not about joining a church or repeating a magic prayer. It's by trusting Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. I'd love to talk with you about that if you're not sure if you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Again, thank you for being here. Let's pray and dismiss. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the ministry of Brother Stan Schumann. We pray that you bless him and keep him as he travels to his next destination. Lord, we thank you for his encouragement through his gift of of singing this morning. Lord, we pray for each individual here. Lord, for those who are who are sick among us. Lord, we we pray for um, uh, Sister June th- this morning. She's not feeling. Uh, we pray for that prayer request that came in. We pray that you would heal her. Lord, for all those in our congregation, the friends of our congregation who have different needs, we pray that you would answer those needs according to your riches and glory. Be back with uh, uh, Lord. Protect us until we can be back again. In Jesus' name, Amen.